But notice that the camp they are here teaching about war this week. War, 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 war. World War Three. Where this war? That war. They teaching war. We need to be preparing for war. Bring it out. What are you preparing for? Do you got a nuke, uh, uh, a missile? Uh, do you got a, a, a drone? Do you got a plane? Do you got a submarine? Bring it out. You need to be planning to feed your peoples, man. This is Matthew 22, verse 29. Yahweh Shai answered said unto them, You do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of the power, nor the power of the Lord. Power, Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shai. This is Taza Doc from the GMS Los Angeles coming back in the truth and the spirit of Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Racha Kadash. Hey, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the whole flag Akim that's pushing his work in truth sincerity. Yeah, so you got this um clown over here from out of the body of Yahweh Shai. Alright? Leading our people to earth, man. Why are we talking about war? Why are we talking about war? World War One, World War Two, World War Three, man! You sound like a jobber from the WWF, man. Okay, all right. And hey, this is what you, what, what Yahweh Shai said with his own lips. You err, not knowing the scriptures. All right, and these men is going to lead you to the to to the slaughter, man. All right. So let's get the scripture here. This is um. Isaiah 9 verse 16 For the leaders of this people Cause them to err And they And they that are led of them Are destroyed And this man right here Who's flabby and sick and old Okay Which he's looking like this Like this man right now Through the scriptures We destroying these false prophets Through the scriptures And knocking them out through the ropes Okay This man and many others Who's, who's erring in the scriptures is leading our people to the slaughter, man. Plain and simple. But this is all of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai from the left hand. Okay? So let's correct his um his understanding. Alright? We supposed to be prophets and watchmen, right? Seers, right? What's the job of a prophet, man? What do prophet means? It means to say something before. Okay, it's that simple. Alright? So let's go to the to one of our brothers, man, Jeremiah, and see what he has to say. All right, this is how you get these guys, man. You use the scriptures. No need to argue back and forth. We we cor correct them, and we move forward. All right, but it's obviously this guy doesn't have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh He has the spirit of Satan and Jesus Christ in him. Okay, so so this is Jeremiah twenty eight and eight. Here it goes, man. This is the, the perfect cutter. The prophets have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war. Can I say it again? Of war. One more time. Of war. W-A-R. Let me ABC and one, two, three for you guys, man. Of war and evil. And of pestilence. Let's read it again. Jeremiah 28 verse 8. The prophets have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries, against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. What's going on right now? Ain't this a great kingdom? So-called Babylon, the great America. They are war, right? We supposed to prophesy. We supposed to prophesy against this king, just as our brothers of old, the prophets of old, doing the same thing. We are in our lots again, doing the same thing. Okay, get another scripture because I'm getting sick and tired of these clowns out here sowing confusion to our people, man. But you know what? That's their job, man. So they fallen into their lot. All right, so this is the, um, let me get it real quick. Bear with me. This is Ecclesiastes 3, verse, verse 8, all right? But let me start at, um, 
Let me start at verse 1, then I'm going to jump down to 8. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. All right? So you have to be aware as a, of, as a man of the Lord, as a servant of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you have to be aware of the times you're living in. You have to measure the times that you're living in, according to according, uh, the book of Ezra, Second Ezra, ninth chapter. You have to measure the times you win. So right now, let's read it again. This is Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So let's go to the real, let's go to those purposes right now. Verse 8, Ecclesiastes 3, verse 8. A time to love, a time to hate, a time of war. Where are we at right now? We at wars and rumors of war. World War III is about to commence. And a time of peace. Are we in a time of peace right now? No, we're not, man. We're not in a time of peace. We're in a time of hate. And war We are hated by all the other nations Esau And the rest of the nations hate us man And right now we're in a time of war A war for our A war for our souls And war on this whole planet man Okay That does it And that war Hey who command who, who, Who's causing all these wars Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai But he using the so called white man Esau Edom To have these wars man in order what to fulfill prophecy for the coming of the kingdom so it is our job to prophesy about war evil and pestilence we at that time now it's that simple but you got clowns like junkyard dog right here flat being sick yeah i'm chopping his name up i don't care man all right we're gonna mock you all right you got clowns like this is causing our people to err, man. Falling, rocking them, rocking them back to sleep like a baby, man. But guess what? A lot of people, people who's versed in the scriptures and solidified and deep rooted in the scriptures know you're full of shit, man. My, my French. All right. Let's get another scripture. I want to end it with that. I got one right here. This is a good one. All right. This is um, Jeremiah 14, verse 14. Then the Lord is in all caps. It's talking about the heavenly father himself, Yahweh. All right. Let's read Jeremiah 14, verse 14. Look at that. It's 144. Then the Lord said unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. Y'all call yourselves one body, Yahweh Shai. You're lying to the children of Israel, man. Why are we talking about war, war? Well, we in a time of war, idiot. Like, that's what I'm saying. A lot of you pretenders are being found out, man. You're not fooling nobody but yourselves, man. Go ahead, get that bag or get that bag. You're not going to enjoy it, all right? Jeremiah 14, verse 14. Then the Lord said unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not. Never have I commanded them. Never spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. He's prophesying in the deceit of his own heart. What do the scriptures say in Proverbs, man? With all that get his understanding, um, do not. Um, what the this roughly proverb saying, do not lean onto your own understanding. And this man clearly leaned into his own understanding. Why are we talking about war? Well, we in the time of war now. Hey, you gotta prophesy on that. Just as the prophets of old. We are the same prophets of old that's coming back. And Lord willing, were those men. But that's your duty. So with that, you know, it was a quick lesson, you know, just to you know, to correct and and to really show the children of Israel the right way through the scriptures. I'm coming with the scriptures, man. Plain and simple. All right? So I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Wachah, Kadash. Hey, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutation for the hopeful like Akim that's pushing his word, true sincerity, and truth, man. 
All right? The phonies will be found out and they're going to get they're going to get scorched, man. From Yahabash Bashmi Shai with that Shalom.